Hey, this is Brock Lemires, Embedded Systems Design. We are now continuing to look at data movement instructions, and we're going to look at our fifth addressing mode supported on the MSP430, and that is called Indirect Register Mode. Okay, now this one is a slightly more complicated than the rest. Uh, what you do in this mode is you use a CPU register to provide the address of where the information to be accessed is stored. So it's a two-step process. You have to know what the address is, either using absolute or using uh, <clears throat> symbolic, and you have to bring that address into a CPU register. Then you use that CPU register as to provide the address for the source, okay? And so the syntax for this is gonna be ampersand, <clears throat> not ampersand, sorry, <laughs> at, okay? And this is, it's kind of like a, a concept of a pointer in C. So instead of just using the address, you take the address, put it somewhere else, and then refer to that address of where you actually want to go get the information, okay? And this is, it's actually, it's designed to be able to easily move through blocks of memory. And you'll see that there's, when you, when you have like, let's say you had 64 uh, words of memory that you wanted to incrementally walk through. You just wanted to walk through them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> you need an, a way to make that a little bit simpler as opposed to doing, you know, setting up a, an address label for every single of the 64 bit or 64 words. So you want a kind of a way to like set a starting address and then cycle through them or increment through them. And this is how you do it. Because if the address happens to be in a register, then what you can do is you can just increment that register and it'll point to the next address in memory. And then you want to go to the next address, increment the register and it'll, it'll look to the next address. This is only supported for the source. So that's very important. You can only use this to access uh, to basically use where you're going to get the information from. And we're going to, to use this, we actually have to take advantage of immediate addressing too, uh, because what we have to do is put a, an address into a CPU register. And so we'll see that as we go. <clears throat> All right, so let's do that. Let's do this example. Uh, we are going to go, we're going to, uh, we're going to define some information in memory. Okay. And so what we want to do is we're going to put dead beef out in memory, <laughs> okay? And we're going to put that in data memory, and we'll put it at 2,000, and we'll put it at 2,002. <clears throat> and then what we're going to do is we want to bring that information over, okay? So we want to bring, uh, let's say, the first information, DEAD, over into the CPU. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we are going to load the address of where the information resides into a CPU register, and we'll use R4 to start with. So we are going to put 2000 into R4, and then we'll use indirect register mode addressing to then use R4 as a pointer to where the information is gonna reside, okay? And then what we can do is we can actually do the exact same thing <clears throat> use it over here, and we'll do this using a, uh, a constant. So instead of using 2002, uh, we'll actually set up an address label, and we'll use this. And it's going to be kind of cool because we'll be able to use in immediate addressing to bring in a value. It turns out the value just happens to be an address, but we'll see how we can do that with an absolute number or the address label itself. <clears throat> okay, And th this is a source of a lot of confusion, so we'll kind of go through it slow. Okay, so that's our task ahead of us. So let's go ahead and fire up CCS. And we're going to go File, New. Oh, boy. File, New, CCS Project. I'm going to verify that <clears throat> Verify that I got my MCU correct. And I'm going to call this ASM underscore ADDR mode 5, representing the fifth address mode that we have looked at for the MSP430. We're going to do indirect register and we'll go ahead and make it an assembly only we'll go ahead and do finish okay so first and foremost uh let's go down and set up uh our main loop so i'm gonna come down here and go main and then i come over here and i do jump main and now our code can go right in here uh and so that's my main loop and then we need to download some information into the data memory so let's get our picture here 
of what we're actually trying to do. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put dead at 2000 and beef at 2002. And that's it. We're not going to, we don't need any reservations of any information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this comment header right here. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to paste it there. And then I'm going to replay, I'm going to type in memory allocation. So now what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to put dot data and that's going to remember that is go to program memory and that is at 2000 hex in, in this microcontroller and then I'm going to do dot retain which is going to be leave this section alone please <laughs> so it doesn't get optimized out and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to create a label and I'll call it const one and then I'm going to I'm going to, I need to put 16 bits worth of constant into this address location and so it'll start at the first available address at, at program memory so once i do data now i'm at 2000 so this is going to go right at 2000 so to put a 16-bit constant into memory i do the directive dot short and then i do dead but remember you can't have it start with a letter so i have to put zero right there and i'll just put a comment of put dead in, let's see dead into address 2000H. And then let's do constant two, and we're gonna do another short to give me 16 bits, and I'm gonna do beef. <laughs> but I need a zero in front of that. So then I come over here and I'm gonna put uh, beef into address. And I know it's going into 2002 just because this is gonna take the first two addresses, 2000 and 2001. And then this will be 2002. But you maybe didn't even need to know that if you're going to use these address labels. But anyway, now we have it. So now we're sitting here and it's time to go do our instruction where I want to bring in dead and bring in beef into just some CPU registers. And I'm just doing this just to see if I can get in, indirect register uh, addressing working. Okay. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come up into my main program. And I'm going to bring in the address of where this location is into R4. So that's that's going to be move.w. And I'm let's let's do an example where I show you the absolute address. So I am going to put pound immediate addressing 2000 into R4. I have loaded now the value 2000 into R4. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to use R4 now as the address pointer of where I want to go. So I'm going to put 2000h into Let's see, put 2000H into R4 to act as pointer. All right, now watch this. I am going to use indirect register addressing to access dead, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna do move.w, and now I'm gonna say at R4. So what I, what I just did there is the at said, R4 contains the address of where the information resides that I want to use as the source. That's how I told the assembler that R4 was going to be used as an address pointer, okay? And now if I just said, let's let's just put it in R5 for no reason. And let's see, put contents of address held in R4 into R5, I guess that's descriptive. We'll move it in there. <clears throat> okay, so let's go ahead and, and fire that up and just watch this work one time. Okay, so I assemble it, I create, I link it, I create the executable file. I am sitting right here, I'm going to put a breakpoint right there, and I'm going to go ahead and go to 2000, and there's dead beef. Okay, so see right there I have address 2000 is dead, address 2002 is beef, and if I look at R4, it still has values in it from the last time I was messing around. Uh, and so, okay, I'm going to, I put a breakpoint right here and I'm going to run to the breakpoint. So I run down there and let's see what happened. Nothing happened because I haven't executed this instruction yet. But this instruction right here is going to put the value 2000 into R4. And I'm putting the value because I'm using immediate addressing. So if I run this, I'm going to step and execute that instruction. 2000 hex shows up in R4. I haven't done anything with memory yet. I just loaded the address of where I want to go get information into a register. Now this instruction will use R4 as the address pointer of where to get the information. That's the source. 
and it will go out there, get it, and put it into R5. So if this works, what I should see is R5 will get dead. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit go, and it worked. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so that was that was uh, indirect register mode. Address pointer, nice. Okay, now this is great. Uh, let's look at a, let's look at a way that's even easier than putting the absolute address in there. Let's go get beef. Okay, let's go get beef. And this time, what I'll do is I will move dot w, and I want to go get the address of where beef is located. Well, constant two is an address label. And I can actually put whatever the value of const2 is. I know that it's 2002, but I didn't really need to know that. If I wanted to put constant2 in here, I would do const2. And if I use immediate addressing, it will put the value of const2 into the register that I want. And let's do put it into R6. Now this is really important because if I did this, Okay, that is now symbolic mode, <clears throat> and it would go put the va it would go put the data at address label const two into R six. If I run this right now, beef will go into R six. But we're trying to learn about indirect register mode. So what I'm really doing is if I put a pound in front of it, instead of beef going into R six, I'll put the value of the address of const two into R six. So in this situation, R6 will actually get, uh, it will get 2002. So I'm gonna put 2002 into R6 to act as a pointer, okay? And now let's use it. Move.w, and I'm gonna say, please use R6 as an address pointer of where the information is that I want to move into my destination. So that's what we're gonna do is this will move beef <laughs> into R7. Okay, so this is going to be put contents of address held in R6 into R7. Okay, let's test that out. All right, let's go ahead and save that up. And let's, let's debug it. It is assembling, it's linking, it's creating the executable, and it downloaded it. I have my memory browser. I've got dead beef again. And let's go down here and let's run to the breakpoint and we'll go ahead and run. Oh, I step, sorry. Hit run and it'll go to the breakpoint. So let's go ahead and go step, step. <clears throat> Notice that 2000 went into R4, dead went into R5. Now I'm ready to do this. So move pound constant two, which is going to be the address location right here. So it's going to be 2002, not beef. So watch this. I go boom. And it's 2002, okay? And that's that's like the hardest part of, of this is you are, the pound const2 is saying, constant2 is, is a label that's 2002. I don't want to go to 2002 and get the information. I want 2002. I want the value 2002. So you have to actually put pound const2. So notice that R6 got 2002. And I actually didn't even need to know what the absolute address was. I used the label there. Now let's do this. Let's go move at R6. That means please use the value in R6. Use it as an address pointer of where the information is that I want to go grab and copy into R7. So if I do this, I should copy beef into R7. So I'm going to go ahead and hit step. And lo and behold, it worked. <laughs> okay, awesome. Uh, that is it. Now we are not going to do anything super significant with this right now because we don't actually we haven't actually looked at data manipulation instructions, which will allow us to uh, uh, increment this. But we'll use this over and over when we start getting more instructions under our belt. I want to I want to show you one last thing though. I want to go back to this point because this is what you're going to just this is going to be so confusing. See this right here. I'm going to save this and I'm going to go ahead and, and compile this <clears throat> or assemble it. And I want to show you the difference here. So I come down here, it's, it's all row, I downloaded it, life is good, life is good. I run to the breakpoint, uh, boom. I go ahead and I do the first copy. So dead went into R5, and I do this one. Uh, beef went into R7. And now look at the difference between these two instructions. This is pound const2, and this is just const2. 
and this is immediate addressing, and this is symbolic addressing. This instruction right here was what put into R6 the value 2002. So it put the address of const2. Now I'm going to run this one, and it is going to use symbolic addressing. And let's remind ourselves how different it is. I hit step, and now look at what went into R6. It went out to address 2002, got the contents, and put it into R6. So this is the most confusing part about this is when you, basically, here's the rule. If you're going to use indirect register uh, mode, when you set up your address pointer, you're always going to use immediate addressing. <laughs> but you, this is a classic example of if you forgot that pound sign and you did this, you would be pulling information from who knows where because think about this. What if I did this now? Now if I'm like, oh, I got this all right and I feel so good and now I did this, it would say, oh, R6 is the address of where to go get the information. So you'd go out to address beef. What? That's not even within program memory. I mean, that's not even within data memory. That's way down. Who knows where that is? And you'd go get some weird information and load it into R7, and you wouldn't even know what's going on unless you opened up the debugger and stepped through this entire exercise. Okay, that is indirect register, indirect register mode addressing. Remember, it's the at, and remember, it's a two-stepper. The first thing is you got to put the address of where you want to go, the address pointer, into a register, and then you use that register to go access the information in memory. Okay, that's it. Nice work, and that's it. Remember to subscribe to my channel, and see ya.